So, you wanna know what to do after beating Tears of the Kingdom, huh? Well, I don't know. That's why in this video I decided to ask you, my viewers, what to do after beating the game. Here's what they had to say. Take a picture of every stable? What's the purpose of taking pictures of stables? Is that to show that I am mentally stable? Cause I'm not. Buy a house and make it as goofy as possible. Okay, I think that's what we're gonna start with. So yeah, last time we came here, we did try and purchase a house, but we were broke as a joke. But we did a little thing called uh, cheating, and we now have 11,000 rupees. For anybody looking up things to do after being Tears of the Kingdom, just cheat. As I mentioned, we already have a prime plot of land set aside for you. It could be a little tough to spot it due to the sun. If I would have come here at like, let's say, later in the day when the sun is on the other side, would she not have even said anything about the sun? They specifically put text in the game for if you come here in the morning when the sun is shining right at your eyes. Link already owns a house, actually. Don't we live in that house over in Hatana with Zelda? Did Zelda and Link break up? And Link needs a new house now? He got kicked out. Took the house and the kids. Can we get a stream of Evan in a maid outfit with cat ears? Does uh, OSHA exist in the Zelda universe? Do I need to build to a certain code so that uh, there aren't any, you know, hazards? Or can I just go crazy with it? Can I just, you know, maybe my bed will be like this. You know, like maybe I want to sleep upside down like I'm a bat. I didn't find any problems during the inspection. You're free to go into... Okay, I didn't expect that. I kind of thought he'd been like, dude, your house sucks. Rebuild it. I get to live off my fantasies of building a home in Tears of the Kingdom because I'll, I'll never be able to afford a home in real life. Man, video games, too unrealistic these days, am I right? Do I have to ascend? Is that the only way I can reach my bedroom? My house is missing a wall. So uh, obviously my bedroom is super secretive. Nobody can get inside of it except for me because I can ascend. Ah. There we go, that's, that's better. Oh, except we're missing a roof too. Now if it rains, we get a free shower. We didn't get a bathroom with our house, so uh, we just rely on the rain. Evan, when are you cross-dressing? I don't get paid enough for this. Everything happens at one million subs. You ever ask, hey, Mr. Nice Guy, when are you gonna do that? one million subs? All I know is my one million subscriber special is about to go crazy. <laughs> I want a mansion, like that one T-Pain song where he said, I got a mansion in Wisconsin. Who thinks of that? He rhymed mansion with Wisconsin. Who does that? Furnished square room, square room. Furnished angled room, angled room. Where are the bathrooms though? There's no bathrooms, people don't poop in this game. World's biggest staircase coming up, guys. Ah, it does physics. Why did Isaac Newton invent gravity, man? And then the plan is to put my house at the very top of the staircase. We're gonna have the greatest view in all of Hyrule. Oh! Looks like we need support, more support. You could always use some more support in life, you know? Whether it be moral support, financial support, or uh, support beams on your world's biggest staircase. You know how people talk about the ancient pyramids in Egypt, and they're like, it must have been aliens. You know, people are speculating, like, there's no way these ancient people built this giant structure. That's what I want. My dream is to build a structure that people just don't think would have been physically possible to be built by uh, any normal human. They'll be like, wow, whoever built that sta giant staircase, they're cool. My dream home is stairs. I'm like Harry Potter. Instead of living underneath the stairs, I live on top of the stairs. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. Door stuck. Door stuck. Door stuck. Okay, this is the final piece. The final stair. Oh. No! If you open left door construction, I don't know what I'd do with myself. Oh. Grant said he's got some abandonment issues, I guess. Same. What's this? Ah. Oh. Ah, uh, restrictions, man. Just let me build my house however I want. The big man are always trying to hold me down. I hate this, guys. I hate my house. I'm so hot to throw it in the trash. Dude, now they're just a mess. This is terrible. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, I've wasted the past, like, hour almost doing nothing. Ah, uh, any construction tips? How do I end my life? No, I will not enjoy it. I hate it. I wish it never existed. This ruined my entire day.
Oh, I know. Touch grass. Oh, uh, see, chilling. Uh, like I said, we're not doing challenges today. That's 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 too difficult. Let's, let's keep it easier than touching grass. Appreciate it. All right, what's next, guys? Beer Steed the armor set. Next thing to do after you beat Tears of the Kingdom, guys, collect all the armor. Gotta collect them all. The Beer Steed set, to be exact. No pizza in Breath of the Wild to add tomatoes. Oh yeah, tomatoes. I don't like tom tomatoes either, but I do like pizza. And I guess you you can't have pizza without tomatoes, unless you. I mean, you can have pizza without tomatoes. It's just gonna be uh not pizza. White pizza is a thing. Is there also Asian pizza? Mexican pizza? I didn't know pizza had races. I thought pizza was just Italian. <laughs> uh oh, is this a Korok? If this is a Korok, somebody has to click the like button. Uh oh, <laughs> it looks like somebody has to press like. Hey buddy, are you guarding the armor that I want? I guess you could say I do have a bone to pick with you. <laughs> Get boned. What is this? I'm assuming this is the Fierce Deity armor. Tell me why does the Fierce Deity armor set have a more elaborate chest than the Hylian shield? And there it is, the Fierce Deity mask. My eyes are glowing now. My hair has turned white. This mask has aged me considerably. 24-7, Mr. Old Guy. This stream has really aged me. Look at that white hair. The stress, it was the stress from building my house. Wee woo! Akala, Citadel Ruins. Secret hole in the wall. I am surprised I can actually fit because of this giant Rubik's Cube on my back that is phasing through the wall, thankfully. But it looks like we found it. All right, well that is two down, one to go. It's a big tree stump. Is this like a alternate reality version of the Great Deku Tree that was once here? And then keys just come out of it. <laughs> They're clipping through the wall. Three times attack up? Holy crap, Lois. This reminds me of that one time where I had three times attack up in Breath of the Wild. You also ate a cheeseburger, but mine didn't have cheese. Oh, well then, uh, I think that's just called a burger. Not a cheeseburger then? If, uh, I might be wrong though. But we're not done yet, guys. What good is having the Fierce Deity Armor if we don't have the sword? Which, uh, according to this map, is at Cephla Lake Cave. Everything is in a cave. If I was a cave, where would I be? 2,000 years later. Where is this cave? Why can I not find it? Oh! Found it. Wait, don't tell me. You came to this cave to find Mystical's treasure too? Where's in? I'll say that. Shh. Ah, I mentioned Mexico's treasure, didn't I? Sorry, buddy. I'm not your buddy, guy. I'm not your guy, pal. I'm not your buddy, friend. He's not your friend, guy. Ah, there's no way you'll be able to find Mexico's treasure in this sea of chess. Ain't got anything to worry about, buddy. You got a point, guy. If seasoned treasure hunters like us couldn't find it, you're not about to fare any better, buddy. Not unless you got a nose like a dog's and can stiff out the treasure, eh? Luckily for me, I am a dog. That means that. Uh, I'll stiff it out. This is where the sword should be. What's the point of even getting the master sword, right? <laughs> Zelda chose the wrong sword. <laughs> I don't know why she cared about, you know, fixing the master sword all these years when uh, the fierce Stevie sword was right here the whole time. But what's else? What's that? Look at all these chests, guys. I am in heaven right now. This is heaven. You guys know I love chests. Let's see what's inside. Oh. Okay, let's see what's inside this one. Okay, maybe the next one will have, you know, maybe more. Maybe we can get, can we get, can we get a blue rupee this time? Blue rupee, any, hey, a green rupee, not blue rupee. Okay, maybe, maybe a red rupee next time. Uh, purple rupee, silver rupee, gold rupee. Maybe the next time it'll be better, guys. Maybe I swear, I swear, next, next one will be, next one will be it, guys. I'm not addicted. I swear, I can stop any moment. Who the heck did this? Who was like, oh no, the end of the world is coming. Calamity Ganon, he's here. I gotta bury all of my my money. But he only had like 12 cents. I give up. I give up. No more. No more chests. No more chests. Uh, 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 okay. I gotta come over. Overcome my chest addiction. But look at us. We're gonna come out of here. They're gonna be so jealous. We're gonna rub it in their faces. Not literally though. We should not rub a giant sword in some you know innocent people's faces. Figuratively, you know what I mean. Hey, you dropping over there? You think you can find it? Then you better get think, think twice, guy. 
They're saying the same thing. They're not even mentioning anything. You not see my sword? They don't need a nose like a dog. They need eyes like... What kind of animal has a good eyes? Eyes like a hawk, because they clearly can't see the sword in my hands. You missing the item that they want in the cave. Oh. One eternity later. Oh! Is that it? Oh wait, there are like a million chests in here. How'd you do that? we have been hunting the treasure long enough to know the rules. And so, we're not going to take it from you, buddy. Yeah, no matter how cool it is. So jealous, any treasure left in there? You know what? I'm gonna look for myself. Out of the way, buddy. Hmm. Treasure, you there, buddy? Ah! What? I have hidden an assortment of equipment across Hyrule. Noble pieces obtained in strange lands near and far. You've done well to find this one. And I will reward you with a hint to another. The Fear Steady Sword. I already got it. World record, fastest pace, quest complete. <laughs> you have found my treasure. These amber trousers are but one piece. Okay, nothing else, nothing new to say. Okay, why Why did I expect to go back to a piece of paper and expect there to be new words written on it? <laughs> you know, it makes sense when you go back to an NPC after you complete a quest, they would maybe have an updated thing to say. Not a piece of paper. It's a piece of paper. The, the words aren't gonna change, Link. You dummy. Give Link a break and give him a shower using logs and a hydrant. Things to do after beating Tears of the Kingdom. Take a shower. Because you've been playing this game too much and you stink. Pizza the time. All right, well, uh, after we beat Tears of the Kingdom, you should reward yourself with a slice of pizza. I don't know how to cook pizza, guys. How do I do that? Looks like it's time to resort to Google. I would like a piece of cheese, if you please. So let's buy a bunch of stuff so we can make as many pizzas as we can and we can throw the world's biggest pizza party. I'll give you a like on your video for a slice. That sounds like a fair trade. I better uh, get a like for every slice of pizza that I cook. If you only make one, it can bring back memories of third grade pizza parties where your slice was very small. <laughs> very true, guys. It's just like the old days when you throw a, your teacher throws a pizza party for you. There's only enough for one slice for everybody. I mean, to be fair, teachers don't get paid very much, so uh, I don't think they can afford very much pizza. Let the pizza party commence! Did they put olives on the pizza? What are the what are the black stuff on the pizza? We have some peppers as well, some green peppers. We don't have we didn't cook with green peppers at all. We used red peppers. This does not look like a pizza for me. I'm a meat lovers type of guy. I, I, you guys can have it, guys. You got you guys need that pizza. Yeah, who can pay? Novotic? Somebody somebody better pay up. Pay for your pizza. You can pay for your pizza by clicking that like button. It's not delivery. It's the you just like the video. That that was terrible. You know, we've left my guy, Bolson, hanging over here at Lorulian Village. I think it's time we get back over there and help fix up Lorulian Village. It's time for more construction. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe we shouldn't do this quest. I couldn't build a good house at Terrytown. I don't think I'm cut out to building houses over here at Lorulian Village. Now we're getting to the real meat of the Great Lorulian Village Revival. So, which building should you get to work on? You know, I've had enough working on homes today. In fact, after the trauma that I went through building a home, I guess you could say I'm feeling a bit homophobic. No, wait, no, not like that, not like that, I'm sorry, no. That was a joke. I love homes, not scared of homes at all. Hey guys, if I was homophobic, I wouldn't be helping out Bolson right now. Maybe look inside, you'll see there's a puddle of rainwater. Getting rid of the water won't be difficult, but that junk in there is a hazard and will make it impossible for you to work. Once all that junk is gone, we'll start the rebuilding work right away. Ew. Will look incredible! Bet. Alright, this sounds pretty easy. I mean, we just gotta... Okay, it, it would be easy if it wasn't raining! More construction, guys. Who, who would've thought? Things to do after being Tears of the Kingdom? Construction. My inspiration for the voice is uh, Mr. Slave from South Park. Ooh, Jesus Christ! Clearly, my, uh, the only thing I know about gay people is from South Park. <laughs> We're building the lucky treasure shop, are we? Oh, Jesus Christ. You don't need me to keep telling you how to do your job. So how about we head straight to the site? <laughs> More like head gay to the site. <laughs> you gotta go. I left a burrito on the ground about four years ago, so I'm gonna go pick it up. All right, good luck with that, Novotic. And we're gonna repair the lucky treasure shop. We have to stick a palm tree log through there to replace the central pillar. This building is big. Oh, very big and girthing. 
Oh boy. Uh, we need, so we need to stick a palm tree through the, I want one that's like straight up. Nothing against non-straight trees or anything like that. Oh boy, now, now the homophobic accusations are just flying in now. But I feel like straight tree will make this a little bit easier. Once again, nothing wrong with, uh, non-straight trees. Just want to point that out there. <laughs> Holy crap. Look at that. See? A non-straight tree would not be able to pull that off. It's perfectly balanced, as all things should be. All right. See, now if this tree was curved, you know, it wouldn't fit. It would just... Yeah, it fits. It fits. Jesus Christ. Now we're getting to the real meat of the great Lurillian village revival. And I love meat. So which building do we get to work on next? The central pillar of the rock and the pair pronto. I already assured up the building's foundation using logs you collected for me. When you pick up a palm tree log, just make it a straight one. A, sh a straight one. Listen, see, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. See, I told you it wasn't anything homophobic like that. Just because I chose a straight tree instead of one of the curvy trees. Even Bolson. Bolson, of all people, also wants a straight one. It's not me that's homophobic. It's Bolson. That's what it is. Now we gotta do is wait for the owner to return and... Hey, am I dreaming? I came to check on my restaurant in my house. I was so worried about them. Did you fix them? Thank you so much. Please, I want you to have this. Oh, that looks yummy. Some shrimp. Wait. Are you telling me a seafood fried that rice? Okay. Just drinking, just, just drinking on the job, huh? You're drinking on the job. All right, so another thing you can do after being Tears of the Kingdom, because that is what we're doing today, is shrines. Time for the egg pudding. How do I make egg pudding? You assumed I knew how to make it? I don't know how to make any food. When it comes to cooking in Tears of the Kingdom, I just throw a whole bunch of stuff inside the pot and hope it works. Kind of just like how I cook in real life. Trying to cook a pizza, I just like throw some bunch of crap in there. Some dog food, some chocolate, some eggs. Just hope it turned into a pizza magically. This looks concerning. A giant cube. Some might call a Rubik's Cube. What if I just did this? What if I just stood on this platform here and shot this with an arrow? And then I could go up. Oh, never mind. This isn't good because I'm going to fall. Oh, look at... Oh! No, I was on the right track. If I do this, I can potentially jump out there. Oh, no. What the clutch? <laughs> I did not expect me to be able to ascend while walking up a wall like that. Okay, that's not how the game wanted me to do it, but I guess that's how we're doing it. All right, what is going on here? Is this mini golf? So this is kind of like one of those, uh, there was like a motion control mini game in Breath of the Wild, but this one just is not motion controls, it's physics. We gotta line this up. Don't worry guys, I'm the world's greatest mini golfer. There's no way. Come on, come on. Oh! <laughs> that was insane! Alright, that was a fun shrine. That, I like that shrine more than the last one. The last one hurt my brain. Backtrack. I have to do some backtracking? Am I playing Hollow Knight? <laughs> I mean, I'm seeing what the game wants me to do, but you know what they say. Bomb arrow solve everything. Yikes. Bomb arrow solve everything. There we go. This shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. evil. <laughs> what happens if I just keep going? Will I find a secret? What exactly is down here? Last time I did this, I did find a secret. Let me at him, let me at him. Last time we did a lot of these type of shrines, I had a lot less health. I have a lot more health now, so I'm not really that scared. Oh, except you're kind of scary. You have a spear? Brittany. Ah! Uh, oh, his boyfriend is here. Crap. All right, let me fuse. Because if I fuse, then I won't lose. Ah, oh, his other boyfriend's here. Stop it. He's got a barrel. A barrel of fun? Hey, buddy. Nice. The final thing to do after beating Tears of the Kingdom 
You get rich quick by breaking the game with duplication glitches. Hey, just like that. Duplicate one diamond into two, and now we become rich. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to check out my other videos. My name is Mr. Nice Guy, and I will talk to you later. Shoutouts to Ashton, Elster, Allison, Arrow, Mad World, Ash, Bass, Jammy, Rescape, Epic Samurai, Nintendo Boy, Raymond, Sada, Finn, Game Planet, Greg Game, Game, Tristan, Darth Noodle, Plug, Melissa, Aiden, Sunny Day, Brooke, and Lord. Subscribe to Patreon or be a member on my channel.